Hello, welcome to Prejame Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 13 of SQL Server. In this session, we'll discuss about advanced or intelligent joins in SQL Server. As part of this, we will see how to retrieve only the non-matching rows from the left table and along the same lines, how to retrieve only the non-matching rows from the right table. And finally, we will see retrieving only the non-matching rows from both the left and right tables. Before continuing with this session, I strongly recommend watching part 12 of this video series. Now in part 12 of this video series, we have seen how inner join, left join, right join and full join works. We have seen examples of that. If you recollect from that part, inner join retrieves only the matching rows between both the tables, whereas left join retrieves the matching rows plus non-matching rows from the left table and right join matching rows plus non-matching rows from the right table. Full outer join, matching rows from both the tables, plus non-matching rows from the left table, as well as non-matching rows from the right table. Now, if you look at all these joins, you know, the queries underneath them, they are pretty much identical. And the only difference you find is the type of join. Rest of the query, you know, is almost identical. So if you look at here, it's inner join. But whereas in the left join, you just say it's a left join. For right join, right join, and for full join, you say full join. That's the only difference. Otherwise, the query is identical. All right. Now, let's assume, OK, so if you look at these four types of joins here, all the types of joins, you know, they give you the matching rows plus non-matching parts. OK, so but let's say, I want an output like this, okay? I want only the non-matching rows from the left table. And along the same lines, I want only the non-matching rows from the right table. And maybe finally, I want only the non-matching rows from the left table and the non-matching rows from the right table, okay? So basically, in this three result sets, we are, we are actually excluding the matching parts. In the previous slide, we see in all the four types of joins, we are getting the matching rows plus something extra. Okay, but here, no matching rows at all. Non-matching rows from the, only non-matching rows from the left table, only non-matching rows from the right table. Non-matching rows from the left table and non-matching rows from the right table. And how do we do that? You know, it's a, it's a it's very easy to understand this. You know, you write your query. If you want only the non-matching rows from the left table, you write the query as you do it for left join, and then you will have a where clause. Okay, let's see how to do that. Now, if you look at these two tables here, the, it's the same employees and departments table we have been working with in part 12 of this video series. So if you look at this employees table, you know, James and Russell records have got department ID as null. Okay, so this is our left table and this is our right table. Now I want only James and Russell's records, which means the non-matching rows in the left table. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's write a query for that. So when you write your query, the output should be like this. Name, gender, salary, department name. For James and Russell, there is no matching row in the departments table. That's why department name will be null. Okay, but basically, I want only those non-matching rows from the left table. So let's see how to write the query for that. So select these columns, whatever you want, from, what's the name of the table? TBL employee. And we want to left join with that table. And which table is that? TBL department table. And obviously, join condition on TBL employee dot department ID is equal to departments table TBL department dot ID. So that's our join condition. So if you look at this result, I mean this query now, it's a left join query. Now, if we execute this query, we get all the 10 rows from the left table. Okay, the matching rows plus the non matching rows. So that's what is the inner join query. I mean, left join query, select whatever columns we want from employee, left join, department on, you know, the join condition. So we get the matching rows as well as the non-matching rows. But what's our uh, 
target. Our target is basically to retrieve only the non-matching rows from the left table, which means we want only James and Russell's records, which means we have to filter out all these these eight rows. Okay, so obviously if we have to filter, we will use the where clause. Okay, and there are two ways to achieve this. One is, look at this, you can simply say, okay, I want all these rows, but I want to filter out, okay, where employee table, you know, I basically want only the rows which has got department ID as null. So if you look at this, who has got department ID as null? James and Russell in the employees table. So what you can basically do here is you can say TBL employee dot department ID is null. So the moment you do that, what's going to happen? When we press F5, we get all these rows, you know, all this, n only the non-matching rows from the left table. Another way to do it is, okay, if you look at the presentation, you know, another way is to do it is department.id is null. So department table dot ID is null. So when we execute this query, we get the same result. And and it's pretty simple to understand what you're saying. Okay, when you when you say, okay, I want to do a left join, what do we get? We get everything, the matching rows plus the non-matching rows from the left table. Okay, so, but we want to filter out James and Russell's record. So as part of that, what is the condition we are using? We are saying department.id is null. So basically for all these records, department ID is not null, hence they will be filtered out. Only these two records has got department ID is null. So, you know, we don't have a match, you know, as it is, we get all the records from the left table. So these records who has a department ID will be filtered out. So that's how we get only the non-matching rows from the left table. Now let's say I want, you know, if you look at this one, I want only the non-matching rows from the right table. Now if you remember, how do we write a right join? Instead of left join, you just say right join. And when we do this, what do we get? We get, you know, right join will basically give us all the matching rows between the two tables plus the non-matching rows from the right table. So there are eight matching rows between TBL employee and department. So we get those eight rows plus one additional record. You know, this other department record does not have, you know, no, no employee is assigned that department. Okay, so, so this is the non-matching row in the right table. Okay, so we get this row as well as the matching rows between these two tables, you know, these eight, if we are using a right join. But what is our intention? Our intention is basically to retrieve only the non-matching rows from the right table, which means I just want this other department row. Okay, so how do we do that? All you need to do is, look at this, we basically want to check, okay, wherever the employee.department ID is null. Okay, so basically, if you look at this right join here, what is it doing? It's giving you all the matching rows plus the non-matching rows from the um, right table. Okay, now when you when you say where e employee dot department ID is null for all of these department ID is is not null. So obviously these rows will be filtered out, which means these matching rows will also be filtered out and you only be left with this other department row. So when I say TBL employee dot department ID is null, we only get that other department. So we only get the non-matching rows from the right table. Okay, now let's say I want the non-matching rows from the left table plus the non-matching rows from the right table. By now, you would have already guessed what to do. Okay, you will just use an or, or condition. Okay, so in the where clause, we'll say tbl.employee.department um, tbl 
id is null or tbl.department.id is null. So what's going to happen, we are going to get only the non-matching rows. Um, we are saying, OK, I mean, look at this. When I run this query, I am not getting the non-matching rows from the left table. Why? Because you are using a right join. So you will have to use a full join there. So what does full join give you? Full join will give us all the matching rows between both the tables plus the non-matching rows from the left table plus the non-matching rows from the right table. So if we execute the query until here, we end up getting 11 rows. Okay, Eight matching rows, two non-matching rows from the left table, and one non-matching row from the right table. But our, our intention is to filter out these matching rows these eight matching rows. You, we only want the non-matching rows from the left table and the non-matching row from the right table. So in order to do that, we are using this where clause. So when we execute this now, we should only get the non-matching rows from the left table as well as from the right table. So we get these three rows. All right, and one important thing to keep in mind is never ever use, you know, equal to when comparing null value. You cannot say, you know, TBL employee dot department ID is equal to null. And along the same lines here, you cannot say, you cannot use equal to operator to compare null and SQL server. You always have to use is keyword. All right. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET and C-Sharp interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.